Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 133 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about targeted collections. But before we do that, I need to refresh your memory on another topic we covered in the past called quick collections. To fully understand targeted collections, you really have to understand what quick collections are. And in that previous episode of Lightroom Quick Tips that I covered quick collections, you may remember that all it is, it's an easy way and a quick way for you to get an image into a collection. In this case, if you look in the library module at the left hand panel at the top, under the catalog tab, you'll see quick collection. There's a little folder there. And if you want to get images into that collection, you could do it very easily one of three ways. You could actually drag the image up into that collection or you could just hit the B key on your keyboard, B as in boy. And when you hit the B key on your keyboard, you could see it says add to quick collection. And if you look in the quick collection folder, now there's an image there. I just added that one. Now, you may have noticed on your images in the top right hand corner, there's a little circle. You could click on that circle and you would toggle that image in and out of the quick collection. So you could go through your images and just click on that little circle and add them to the quick collection. Or if you want to remove the image from the quick collection, hit that circle again or hit the B key on your keyboard. That will add it and remove it from the quick collection. So that's how you get images into a quick collection. Now one quick side note, if you don't see this little circle in the top right hand corner of your images down here in the film strip, just right click on any of the image images down there, go down to view options and make sure that show badges has a check mark next to it and then you'll have that little circle there so you could easily add images to the quick collection. Alright, that's a quick collection but we're talking about targeted collections. Well there may be times where you really don't want to add images to a quick collection you'd prefer to add them to a normal collection and you're gonna make that collection targeted so that now when you hit the B key on your keyboard or you click on that little circle in the top right hand corner of the image down here in the film strip instead of going in the quick collection it will go into your targeted collection so to do that we'll take these two images out of the quick collection go down here to your collections and create a new collection so just click this little plus sign and go down to create collection and I'm going to go zoo edits because obviously these are images from a zoo. And what you want to do is down here where it says set as target collection, make sure that is checked. So check that and click create. Now you look down here at zoo edits and you see that there's a little plus sign here. That means that that collection is now a targeted collection. Now when I click on this little circle in the top right hand corner of this image in the film strip you'll see it gets edited, added to my zoo edits collection and if we go back up and look at our quick collection you can see it's not added there it's being added down here so I could go through my images I could either click through them maybe hit the right arrow key and go through my images and find ones I want to edit in this case and I'll hit the B key on my keyboard and I added that now to the zoo edit collection, my targeted collection. Now one thing you might have noticed when I hit this B key, it's toggling it on and off. So it's putting it in and out of that collection. But it's not advancing to the next image. That's because I have something turned off. If I go up to the top and hit, click on photo and go down to auto advance, you could see there's no check mark next to that. If I click on that, now when I hit that B key, it will advance to the next image. So let's say I want to add this to the collection. I'll hit B and it advanced to the next image. So I could hit my right black bracket key and then quickly go through my images and cull them. Hit the B key when I want it in the quick collection. It'll automatically advance to the next image and I could hit the right bracket key or right arrow key again or I could hit the B key again if I want to add it to that uh, zoo edits collection I created and then keep hitting the right bracket key and go through my images till I find one I want to edit and hit the B key and I advanced. Now, if you don't like auto advance on, personally I don't like um, auto advance on. So I usually keep that off. 
And there are times where I do want to auto advance though. So what I do is I put the caps lock key on. So I turn that on on my keyboard. Now when I hit the B key, it will auto advance. And it will always auto advance as long as my caps lock key on is on. That's kind of a shortcut way to get auto advance turned on. And then when I want to turn it off, I'll just turn off my caps lock key. Then when I hit B, I no longer hit auto advance. So a lot of little stuff kind of stuffed into this one video. That's how you create a quick collection or a targeted collection, I'm sorry, and get images into that targeted collection and get them out of the targeted collection. Now, when you're done with your targeted collection, you still maybe want to keep it as a collection, but you want to revert back up to the quick collection as your target when you hit the B key or hit these little circles. All you need to do is right click on your targeted collection and see right here where it says set as target collection just turn that off and you can see the plus sign is now gone so that's no longer a targeted collection and if you go up to quick collection you can see the plus sign is now there so if I hit the B key now I'm putting the image in the quick collection I'm no longer putting it in my targeted collection you could create an existing collection or create or make an existing collection a targeted collection by just right click on it and then write set as target collection right there and then that will be your new target collection so you know a lot of little stuff in this video I hope it made sense I use it for culling images uh, there's a lot of reasons why you why you might you might have a bunch of processed images and you want to create a targeted collection of images that you're going to print or send off to the printer so you would create that collection make it a targeted collection quickly go through your images by hitting the B key on your keyboard for the ones you want to add to that collection have auto advance on or have your caps lock key on and you can quickly go through all your images and get them in the target those in the target collection that you want to print and you'll be all set turn that target collection off by right clicking in on it and going down to set as targeted collection and make sure that that check marks is removed and you're good to go so that's it for episode 133. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.